All right, we're going to get started. Welcome to the Sunday Night Power Plan for October 11th. I don't even know how October got here, but here it is, and we're already in it. Um, so if you read the description for tonight's uh, session, Zoom, we've already done so much as a company in 11 days. Like we've already gone through two auto shifts. We've got double, triple. We've got free credits. We've got a, a cut free trip to work for. Um, we have so much going on. So tonight we're going to go over some of the basics. I'm going to give you some highlights of um, how to handle your upcoming auto ships, how to work your double triple, how to take advantage of these credits, and just a few other things I've written down as well as let me mark myself a little note here so I don't forget it. Um, I learned about an app and I could have sworn it was in a Zoom that Susan Kaufman did on one of those lunch and learns, but I just went to find it before I started this so I could give credit to the lady who, I can't find it. Anyway, okay, so tonight let's start off with our rate of run. So for those of you that are new, your rate of run is where we take the average of, well, like we, we, have, a, have, a, we have a formula where we're gonna find out how much you and your team on average are doing in volume. And then that's gonna help us know like where you're gonna end the month at. So today is the 11th. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your cloud. And if you're new to these power plannings, you always wanna try if possible to come with a second device. So I'm looking at you on my camera, but I'm gonna be working on my phone. So you're gonna go into your cloud. Let me get myself logged in, should have been ready. And you're gonna go down to where you see it says, we have lots of stuff on our trackers now. Business snapshot, when you click that down button, it's gonna pull up your PPA. And then under the qualification button, five or six rows down, it says current QV. You're gonna take that current QV and you're gonna divide it by 11 because today is the 11th of the month. And I can already tell from my cheat sheet on my calendar that we are not where we are hoping to be so far this month. Um, so divide that by that by 11, and then you're going to take that number that you have now. So your current QV divided by 11 for the 11th day of the month. You're going to take that number and you're going to multiply the new number by 31 because there's 31 days in October. The number that you see on your calculator is what you are projected as a team to do for the month. This number is either going to make you feel warm and fuzzy inside, or it's going to give you a big swift kick in the pants. Um, I'm looking at a number that gives me a big swift kick in the pants and I haven't had a kick in the pants in a while. So this is, <laughs> I don't know what this is, refreshing. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But, um, but here's the thing, if you don't look at those numbers and keep track of those numbers, it's really easy to be like, oh, it's October 29th. I wonder what my team is doing. I wonder what we're gonna end at. And I don't like that position. I'm a planner. I like to forecast things. I like to know where we're headed. Um, so I like to know rate of run. It's something I check probably daily. I know people will debate this if that's good or bad, but as far as I'm concerned, this is my business and my business pays my bills. So I like to know where I am with my rate of run. Um, so now that you know where you are with your rate of run, we're going to keep that in the back of our minds. Like I said, for me, it's a kick in the pants. Uh, clearly, I have been distracted a little bit which um, let me just acknowledge that I know everybody goes through distractions in your business and in life. Um, it's just part of it. And it's hard sometimes to pick yourself back up and get going again. As a matter of fact, I had a conversation with Sandra Dilbeck today. She was like, are you back in it? Like, are you feeling like you're back in it? And I was like, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> um, but I am in it because I'm here. I show up, I do what's necessary. I for sure do the, you know, my, my five, four, three, two, one at minimum. And I have my bigger one that we've talked about before. Um, so just make sure that you have yourself in a system. Like you learn your five, four, three, two, one so well that even when you don't want to get off the couch or out of the bed, you can pop out five messages. You can pop out four follow-ups. Um, that, will they be your best ones ever? Probably not. Will you remember to even write them on a sheet of paper? Maybe not. But activity leads to activity. And so that's why we do these, these plannings every week. And as a matter of fact, they do plannings every day um, just to make sure you stay in the game. I know when I got back from one of my recent um, life hiccups, I jumped on a power plan with Susan Kaufman, whatever day that was, Monday, I guess. And it was so good for me. Like, I just didn't have to think. I just played along. I just, whatever she said to do, I just did. I didn't even think. And so sometimes that's what you need. And so for me, that's what 
That's what this routine is about, is about staying the course. Sometimes I am rowing the boat and I'm like looking ahead and I see what's coming. And other times I'm just like, did they say row left? I will row left, whatever they tell me to do. But we're always in this together. So just keep that in mind. Um, okay, so we have an uh, auto ship coming up on the 15th. And I want to make sure it's, did anybody have anybody auto ship on the 10th? I had a 10 -er. Yeah, I had, I had a girl on the 10th and it was funny because I had reached out to her about the fifth and I went back to my, cause I was like, oh my gosh, did I run two auto ships? And I went back to the, the message and she had said, yeah, everything was good for the fifth. So she must've gone in and bumped into the 10th and I didn't know. So I panicked, but it all worked out. Um, but so anyway, we really have to keep track of all these dates now because the auto ship is like the bread and butter of the business. If you get like, to me, the work is finding the people who need to feel better, getting them started, getting them to love it. And then if you can get them in that auto ship cycle, that's just good stuff right there. That's just, you wake up and there's orders in your uh, account. Um, so we have an auto ship coming up on the 15th. So what I want to do, especially for the new people and myself, because I'm working tonight too, you're going to go into your cloud. You're going to go into the menu and where it says my team, you're going to go to the bottom and it says my customers. So on that customer list, you're going to see at the top customer number, customer name, email, scroll all the way to the far right till you see the category that says next auto ship. You're going to click that button twice, the next auto ship button, and it's going to populate it by date. So you want to go in there and you want to see who is listed for October 15th for an auto ship. You want to write down all those names and we're going to do that right now together. Um, I have to scroll up my phone. My screen's kind of small. One, two, three, four. So I have four people I need to write down. And these people we are going to get talking to probably tonight. And if not tonight, for sure tomorrow. And why do we talk to them now versus waiting till the last second? Well, because we care about them and we're promoters. So we're not just taking their order. We're not just running them through the system. We're actually connecting with them. Like I know right now, the girl's name I just wrote down, the reason she didn't auto ship last month was because she had surgery. And I saw a couple things on Facebook and I've constantly been like, hey, you doing okay? You doing all right? Um, she had some complications after surgery. So let's pretend that I just sent her a message last month and said, hey, do you want your auto ship? And she said, no. And then I didn't do anything until this month. I said, hey, do you want your auto ship? And she says, no. Like as a customer, that would be so annoying to me that somebody who says we're Facebook friends doesn't even know that I've had surgery and now had complications. Like I'm going to come at a place of, Hey, you know what? I see your name on this upcoming auto ship, but I know you've had a lot of complications. Where do you stand with the doctors and being able to start back on your thrive? Like, like take it to where they need it. Um, let me look at another name. So the other girl's name I wrote down here, she just last month went from regular DFT to black label. And I know that she's enjoying it because we've talked about it a couple of times. So when I reach out to her, I'm going to say something to the extent of, hey, I know you're loving your black label. Your auto ship is coming up. Um, would you like to continue with that? If so, there is a pink ribbon version this month that we can get you and $5 will go to charity. Would you like to make that change? Like just make it about them, about what, what they need or what they could do. Um, I haven't had anyone say no to switching, like if there aren't ultra already or black label already or white label, whatever they, everyone's like, oh yeah, I'll totally switch to that. Like, that's awesome to have the pink ribbon one. So make sure you're throwing that out to people. Um, but again, make sure you reach out to people tonight or tomorrow, like go through like these, these four names I wrote down, I'm going to go through their Facebook tonight and tomorrow, maybe their Instagram, however I'm connected to them. I'm going to start peeking around. What did they do this weekend? What did they do last week? Um, I know for a fact, one girl was in the pooch parade here in town. Um, so I'm going to, well, I've already done it because the pictures were adorable, but I would reach out to her and be like, my gosh, the pictures look great. How was it so much fun? By the way, this is a girl that just tried black label because she has anxiety, although we don't say it, she has those issues. And so I'm crazy proud of her. Um, so you want to start connecting with people, you know, what, how, how was the wedding this weekend? How was the pumpkin patch this weekend? Get a regular, normal, completely thrive free conversation started tonight or tomorrow. So that then by tomorrow evening or Tuesday morning, you can say, hey, you know what? I just saw your name pop up on my auto ship list for this week. Last month, you got X, Y, Z. And then go from there. Like, you know, 
did they want to change something up? How did they try something new? Did it work well for them? Maybe they're an ultra or a black label, switch them to pink ribbon, like, you know, go with the flow. Um, also, you guys keep in mind, the days are getting shorter. The daylight is shorter. The, um, it's going to get dark. It's going to be cold. It's the, literally the least time in my life that I like. Um, so you might want to start having some conversations with people about trying black label or white label or whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, okay, so make sure you reach out to your auto ships. Don't let these pass by. And remember, if someone comes back to you and says, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you told me I'm going to need to skip this month, do not panic. Be a human. Oh my gosh, is everything okay? What's happening? Is there something I can help you with? If they say to you, I forgot, uh, I don't know, I've got surgery this week. Okay, we can postpone it. We don't have to cancel it. If they say, you know what, my husband lost his job. Okay, we've got some options. We're going to talk about that later. But like find out why, because it's not always just a flat out cancel. Like I encourage people not to cancel their auto ship, but maybe to go in and skip a month or push it back, a, a, you know, maybe from the 10th to the 25th. And then I, again, it's your responsibility as a promoter to follow up with them. Don't let them forget that you push it from the 10th to the 25th. Like make sure you're checking your reports. Um, and also if they say to you, you know what, I, I'm not having a good experience. It's not doing what I thought it would do. That's when having them in a three-way chat is so important. You probably, hopefully, already have them in a three-way chat from when they ordered the first time. And if not, like if somebody were to come back to me and be like, I don't think I'm going to order. It's just not doing what I was hoping it was going to do. I don't even respond to that, that message. I create a chat with someone else and say, you know, hey, Lisa, you said that you weren't sure about ordering the funds because you're just not feeling the thrive. And I know my friend Laura is so good at helping people tweak their experience. Can you explain to her what you were hoping to feel versus what you're feeling? Like just start the chat. Um, and again, it's not, it's, it's coming from a human place that you sold somebody something, they don't think it works and you really want them to feel good. So those three-way chats are magic in that situation. I know for a fact, one of the girls on our team a month or so ago, rescued, salvaged, whatever you want to call it, like seven or eight auto ships just by putting them in three-way chats. So let someone else do the talking for you. Okay. So movie, is there anybody, oh, I had a customer who uses ultras and was using the blue. They had half off. Oh, they had half off. Okay. And then there was no way to switch them from the peak remnant. Um, they were using the blue. They had half off. You mean like put a pink ribbon into their experience pack? Because if that's what you're talking about, correct. Peak ribbon has to just be a line item. I don't know if I'm answering that right. I was going to switch the blue ultras that Lavelle was doing the 50% off on. Uh -huh. They had those on sale. I was going to switch those to the pink ribbon on his auto ship and could not because apparently they've discontinued those. So they weren't showing up at all for me to switch, you know, to make the change. Huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, what you're saying does, I didn't realize that, that they were out of them already though. Not, not the pink ribbon, the blue oh, the ultras. Blue. They were not a choice that I could remove them to make the choice for the pink ribbon. Hmm. I don't know if I'm okay, explaining that's okay. that right. We, Laura and I and you will do that in the three-way chat. We will figure this out. We'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, thank you. Because I didn't know that we were having trouble with that. Um, okay, so any other questions about auto ships? If you have them, just throw them in the chat or you can unmute yourself and start talking. If not, we are going to go ahead and start moving forward with double, triple. Uh, today's the 11th. You have until the 16th, which is Friday, to earn your double or triple commission. Please remember, those of you that have been working on it already and you've already got like one or two orders in, this coming Tuesday, you are not going to get your double or triple commission. You are just going to get regular commission because the company doesn't know yet if you're going to maybe go from double to triple or you know, if you're already triple, how many more are you going to get? Because it's unlimited. You can get as many. And once you have triple, you can keep going. Um, so just remember this week, you're only going to see your regular commission. So whenever we get double, triple, I get like this, like split personality. Like I'm super excited and then completely overwhelmed at the same time. Um, because some months or some sometimes when they run this promo, 
it's been a while and people are jonesing for it. And then sometimes it's not been that long ago and people are like, hey lady, I just bought a $400 pack. <laughs> so it's always an ebb and flow and sometimes they're gonna be harder than others. So what I try to always remind myself is, yes, I'm working towards this triple commission. I'm working towards this shout out. I'm working towards showing my team it can be done, but that's me. What do they need? What does the customer need? If I come at it, if I come at every single message with me, 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 what I need, it's not going to go anywhere. I need to remind myself what that I'm here to help them. So um, like when you think of promoter packs, like you were like, okay, I'm selling promoter packs. Who needs this offer? Who do you know that you talk to that it's, it's husband and wife, or it's maybe it's mom and kid. And you know, they go through, if any of you have yourself and your spouse or a child, thriving in the same household, you know how fast a $400 pack can go. Like it comes and it looks so big and you put it on the shelf and then three people dive into it and you're like, where, where did it go? So who do you know? Who do you have on your team already um, level one wise that you have multiple thrivers or that they struggle with finances and that this would be a great opportunity if you are offering something back? Um, who do you know that deserves to grow a successful business? Maybe it's somebody already on your team that's just kind of wishy-washy. Maybe they signed up two years ago because of some sort of deal and they've sort of dropped off the face of the earth. Maybe it's um, the, the girl at dance class that you've noticed she really struggles to pay for her child's dance fees every week. And you know that this would be like an awesome business for her. Like put yourself in that mindset when you're talking to people about these promoter packs and then it will become less panicky desperation and more about truly helping people. Um, I will say early, early on, I've been doing this for a little over five years and double triple has been around all the way back then. Um, I have a lot of people on my team that are non-promoting promoters because I was just like, oh my gosh, I got to sell a promoter pack. Hey, you happy, loyal customer that auto ships with me every single month. I'm going to sell you a $400 pack and save you money. Well, guess what I just did. I took away an auto ship and I gave someone the promoter status that doesn't do crap. So think before you sell, um, and then don't worry, we're gonna talk about Cabo and I'll totally eat everything I just said, but think about what you're doing when you're selling people a promoter pack. Um, yes, you and I all know that they can order the pack and never sell a thing in their life. Cool. Is that the best thing for them? Try not to, try not to think what's the best thing for you, okay? it's not. December 30th yet where we need one more promoter to get to Cabo. You know what I'm saying? Like think about what would be best for them. Um, and I, I make sure there is a gnat or something flying around. I don't want you to think I'm like grabbing at the air. Um, I for one go through all of my level ones as soon as it launches and I send them the email and say, Hey, the double triple has launched. And that is how I word it to my current promoters because they've seen it. They know what that means. Um, or they're at least familiar with that verbiage. And I offer a rebate back to the first three promoters who place a $400 pack order. Now, does that mean if somebody says they come in fifth or you know sixth? Yes, I will still do it. Um, but I only offer it to the first three aggressively. And then anything that comes in after that, I'm good. Um, and again, there are people on my list who I feel almost obligated to offer this to because that's how they got to be a promoter in the first place. So I definitely go through my non-promoting promoters and say, hey, that deal that you know got you here in the first place is back. Um, but then you can go through, um, some of you are going to have, because I know I have one right now and I'm really struggling because she would be an amazing promoter. She would be amazing. She just isn't quite there yet herself. Um, but that's someone who I can say, I know we've talked about promoting before. I know you're a little bit nervous. If now is the right time, I do have something that can help you get started. And that's how I would word it because I don't want to put pressure and be like, I only have five days or you got to spend $400, but don't worry, I'm going to give you some money back. Like that just muddies the water. I only want her to take that leap into promoting if that's what she wants to do. So just be mindful of that, how you're approaching people about the promoter packs. Um, because yes, it is awesome to get that shout out, but I will tell you from experience, if you have a whole bucket of promoters that don't do anything, it can be very frustrating when they could have just been happy thrivers. So keep that in mind. 
Um, and now moving on to the second part of that promo, the $25 for newbies, you guys, that's awesome. That is so good. That's like literally a message that I send to everybody. And again, I was, Sandra and I do a lot of good thinking on the phone today. And so she was like, what are you saying to people? And so I just like rattled it off my head and I was like, dang, that's really good. We should write that down. Um, cause I started off kind of elaborate and then I like narrowed it down and it's literally just a, a quick message that says, Hey, did you see the email about $25 off a of thrive? Just, Hey, did you, I'm going to get this nap. <laughs> Hey, did you see this? E hey, did you see the email about $25 off a of Thrive? Just leave it at that because that's really all you want to know. Did they see it? Yes, no, maybe. Um, you know, if you get crickets, like maybe you see it, like especially on Messenger where you see their face go down, you're like, um, I see you friend my message and you've not responded. If you see that happening, you could always say, do you need, do you need more details? You, know, you could always follow up with that. But I think a lot of times we're like, hey, if you sign up as a new customer account or even a new promoter account, they're going to preload your account with $25. You can use it on anything. Like that is just Greek to the average person. But when you say 25 bucks off Thrive, that's language they know. Because I had even said the, the email from Lavelle. And I was like, you know what? We should just say the email about Thrive. Because some people don't even know who makes Thrive, right? If it's your customers or your potential, they don't know. They don't care. It doesn't matter to them. They're writing our paychecks, not theirs. <laughs> So the more simple you keep it, the better. And this is where I wanted to talk to you guys about. And again, I wish I could find if, if I find the video, I don't if this will be too late, but there is a woman. I'm pretty sure she's out of Detroit. She was at one of our trainings in Toledo um, and she did a work with me Zoom. I, could, I don't know. It felt like two weeks ago. Who knows? Anyway, she presented this app that you can use on your phone and it's called Lazy Board. And I originally thought that it was two, like I thought it was called one thing on Apple and one thing on Android, but it's not. It's called Lazy Board. What it is is a keyboard app. So, you know, like when you go into your phone and you're sending messages, you've got like the emoji keyboard, the regular keyboard, you have all those things. Well, this one called Lazy Keyboard is one where you can go in, if there's a message that you find yourself sending over and over and over. And yes, I know you can do like copy paste, don't get me wrong. Um, I have some emails. If you, if any of you are on my team and you've ever put me in a group, a, a three-way chat with someone, I inevitably at some point in time mention a video from YouTube that I made that talks about Thrive. I always have to go find the YouTube link, copy the video and bring it over. Um, even though it's like in my notes, it, uh, this is just a time saver. So basically what you can do is you can go into this lazy board and you can just type up messages that you find yourself saying a lot. Um, one could be like a happy birthday message. For me, one is the video that I have. And in this case, it's it's the, hey, did you see the 25, the email about $25 off of Thrive? But what would happen is, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this at all, but um, uh, Laura, I'm gonna use you just in case I accidentally hit send. But so I'm in Messenger with Laura, okay? And down, oh gosh, everybody gather around. Oh, I gotta open my... Okay, so there's my regular keyboard, right? That's just that you guys all have a keyboard. On the bottom right, if I hit this key, it's a picture of a keyboard. There are other keyboards I can pick from. So when I click the lazy board keyboard, now my keyboard are my pre-saved messages. So I can click, I don't know how to, this is pitiful. Okay, so I can click Boom, and right there, my message pops up. Here's a video I made about Thrive. It's got the YouTube link. Boom, I think that's the $25 one. Did you see the email about 20, about Thrive? Let me scroll down. And then the other one, <laughs> this is like contorting here. And then, uh, boom, boom. Ha happiest of happy birthdays to you. So Lazy Board is such a time saver. Like I, again, this is why I want to give this woman credit. I don't know her name. I, I know a lot of you actually saw her because you were in Toledo with me. But anyway, lazy board. So what I have in my, so what I did earlier today is I just put that, hey, have you seen the email about $25 off in my lazy board? And now I can just go through and I can just pop that in. Um, so that is a, a tool. Oh, okay. I don't think I sent that to you, Laura. <laughs> Um, that is a tool that is very helpful to have. Like anything that saves time is great. So when I say things like, you know, maybe you're struggling this week, 
Um, like I know we have a, a girl on our team whose grandma passed away this week and she's like, I just feel out of it. Stacy, I think Stacy is right. That sounds familiar. Anyway, we'll find this out. Um, what does the app picture look like? For an Android, which is what I have, it is, it's blue. Uh, that's not a very good picture. Oh, there we go. Lazy board. Um, yeah, I think Stacy is right. I wish I could think of her name. But uh, anyway, she, you know, we, we were talking. She's like, I feel so out of it. You know, we had all these things going on. I was like, I totally get it. The great thing about Lazy Board is you can actually just, I hope I don't offend anyone, you can run to the potty and you can literally hit the hap, I can hit the little box that says happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, and I didn't have to type anything. Now, if you have more time, you could go in and put in the person's name, but you don't have to, right? Like when life sucks, do what you got to do. When life is great and you've got more time, make it fancy. Um, so the reason I wanted to make sure I showed you Lazy Board for this particular thing is because to me, that to have you seen the email about $25 off message, that should go to everybody. That should be going to your current promoters because you guys, you have promoters on your team who don't check their emails. You have promoters on your team that haven't even been on the, your team page in months. But if you start talking about saving money, their ears are going to perk up. Now, yes, it's for new accounts, but perhaps they have a spouse, perhaps they have a child, perhaps... Uh, heck, I don't know, maybe they have gone, what is that where they gray out and they're gone because they've been inactive for so long. Maybe they could literally start a new account. I don't know. But I will also say this to you, if you have credits in your own office and you reach out to someone and they're like, well, I really would like to do that. 25 bucks to get somebody started back. You could just, you could put the, the money, the credits into their account, right? Like any, like this is just a good way to get a conversation with somebody started. So I think like that should go out to everybody and especially anyone that is um, like a potential, like someone who's been talking to you about Thrive. I would encourage you to go back into your messenger. We've done this before, but I'm going to show you guys real quick. If you go into messenger and Facebook up at the top, I didn't know this was going to be share my screen night up at the top where it says search. You can go in that button. I used to only just search people's names. I never really thought about it, but you could search in that button, expensive, money, cost, um, keywords, and you could start finding conversations you've had with people who are like, yeah, I would love to thrive, but it costs too much. Or I feel like it's a little too expensive for me right now. It's messenger is going to find those keywords. So obviously you're probably going to find some conversations that have nothing to do with thrive. Just scroll past them and keep looking for the thrivers. And at the same token, that is also the same, like that search button, you can put in weight loss, um, grumpy, sleep, like whatever keyword you want. That's a great way to find old messages that you had going with people. Um, okay, moving right along, because we're almost out of time. Did anybody ask a question? Okay, Cabo. This is where I said I would eat all my words. Um, one, to me, one of the best things about being a Thrive promoter are going on lifestyle getaways. Like, hands down. I don't even remember now for sure if it's, I don't know, 12, 13 that we've been on. They're amazing. Um, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Add to it that this one is Cabo, which is literally my favorite place in the whole world that I have been to. I'm sure there's someplace else, but I haven't been there yet. Um, and it really, really makes me want to go. But remember, it's there's, there's part of me that's like push, 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 because they're only taking so many people. So don't drag your feet, go. You need new customers, you need new promoters, and you need to hit your, your rank, which I don't know what ranks you guys are, so you'll know if you're shooting for the 12K or the 40K and up. Um, there is a reason that they launched Double Triple in October, the same time they launched the Lifestyle Getaway Qualifications. They are literally handing it to you on a platter. You have the ability to sign up new promoter pack, uh, promoters, because of the double triple and that would also count for your Cabo. They're giving you $25 for new customers and new customers get you to Cabo. So use this promo, like I double dip it, like use it for the double triple and use it for Cabo qualifications. Um, and I think it was last week, I don't remember if it was on PowerPlan or if it was my team page, but 
I know there's a lot of like, well, will we go or won't we go because of all the COVID? I don't know. I don't know if we'll go or not. But here's the thing. If we, if you earn it and you don't get to go, they will send you a hefty check. They will take care of you because a lot of us earned the leadership retreat to California and we didn't get to go, but we got a hefty check. We got an awesome box of goodies sent to our house, like a big giant box of great things sent to the house. So no matter what, you'll be a trip earner and trip earners will get something. If for some reason it turns out not to be a trip to Cabo, but let's hope it is, um, you'll still get something. Also, I have this conversation every time about trips, even if you already know you can't go because it's your kid's something or there's a wedding, still try to qualify, still be a trip earner with your company. It's okay if you earn it and can't go, they're fine with that. You just don't register and they pass it on to the next person who registers but be a trip earner with your company. Like that's a badge of pride right there. Like I earned the trip. Did I go? No, I went to a wedding instead, but nonetheless, earn the trip. Um, okay. Does anybody have questions about the trip or questions about double triple? Um, the only other really note I had here was pink ribbon DFT. Even like, even if it's, I know we talked about like as far as your auto ship people went, just in general, like I always make sure that at the beginning of the month, so you still totally have time, that I order in a pack of each, the ultra and the um, pink label, I'll call it. And I send out thank you cards to last month's auto shippers, or it could even be this month's already because it's already, we've already had two. And I put one or two of the pink ribbon DFTs in there. Um, they might not be using ultra or black label, but now they might try it and everyone is tickled because I have yet to find someone who has not somehow been touched by breast cancer, whether it was them personally or someone in their family that they loved. So it just means a lot to people. Um, and so that, I think that's a great gift to give. And you also know when you order it, you're giving $5 to charity for each pack. So that's something I use as a, as a gift, but it's also something that I really, I encourage you to really market, like put it on your Facebook stories, put it on your actual post, your Instagram, Talk about it. Lavelle has raised a ton of money for the Breast Cancer uh, Foundation. Foundation? Yeah. I say, yeah. Okay. I always get confused. There's so many. Um, but they've done an amazing job of, of writing a giant check every year for this. So it's definitely a fundraiser we do every year. And it's definitely one I look forward to. Um, also remember, because sometimes people uh, get weird and they're like, well, the month's almost over. And I don't know. Okay. DFTs are good for two years. They can order them now. If they only use a week, then they can save them for next October. They will not go bad. Same for you. If you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to order them. Yeah, you do. You really, truly do. Um, and I encourage you to order them on your next, like as a promoter, you can create an auto ship, like set it to run on a specific date. I would encourage you to auto ship those um, because that's going to help your auto ship I don't know, whatever you call, qualifications for uh, lifestyle getaways. It counts. So anyway, that's all I have for tonight. Unless you guys have something else, um, I highly encourage that Lazy Board app. I, oh, oh yeah, thank you, Tiffany. Yes, okay, I, so good because I was just, I told myself not to forget that I totally did. Okay, so Paul in fabulous Paul way has just announced that he is offering this pre-holiday promo for anyone that is VIP 800, it's basically new to 12K. So what he says is the most free accounts above 10. Now remember, a free account is not an order. A free account is an email sign up. And right now, thanks, Paul, you're giving me 25 bucks for everyone who does that, right? So he, they're already helping you right there. Plus four new personal upgrade orders. Personal upgrade orders is when somebody orders a promoter pack. So maybe they've been a customer and they switch to promoter and order, or they just come in and order a promoter pack. But that's what he's referring to when he says four new personal upgrade orders from Sunday the 11th through the 18th. You'll get a thousand dollar bonus on your commission check on Tuesday the 20th. And if your sponsor has 10 plus new free accounts and four new first time orders, they will also, so you and your sponsor could like lock up and be like, let's go. Like you could challenge each other to do this. So this is just one of those fun things that Paul likes to do. He loves to throw incentives out at people. Um, and, and this is, this is one of them. So thank you for putting that in there, Tiffany. I totally, I did right before I was like, don't forget to talk about that, but I did. Um, and I love what he says too, at the bottom, let's build our vision boards. You guys, if you don't have a vision board, get on it. 
There's an old one. There's one here that you can't see. And there's one over there. Vision boards are the best. And I, I encourage you to, to take pictures of them because a lot of times I'll just redo my board, but it's fun to go back and look and be like, oh, I did this. I did this. That happened. Holy cow, that happened. And I forgot it was even on my vision board. Um, it's pretty powerful when you put your mind to something and you see it over and over and over and over and over. And that is exactly what a vision board does. So any questions, any, and I hope this helped you. Don't forget your birthday, reach out, you know, like reach outs are life. That's what we do here. But I just wanted to make sure that you were focused on your auto ship reach outs and focused on like who you are talking to about promoter packs, who you're talking to about free credits, um, pink ribbon DFTs, all that stuff. Lazy board is awesome for birthday reach outs. And like, you know, like when you do like the, hey, happy birthday, what are you doing to celebrate? That could be like happy, that could be HV1. And then maybe there's one where you, like when you, the second follow up, like, well, I love, I would love to send for your birthday a, a happy, or not a happy birthday. I would love for your birthday to send you a birthday cake, pro bar, what's your address? That could be HV2. Like it could, all of those things that you send out all the time, 